Hello everyone. Today's topic is electronic commerce. As we know, it is also popularly called e-commerce. Here e is for electronic commerce. Here we look for context first. We will see definition of the e-commerce, then history of the e-commerce, then advantage and disadvantage of that, then some types of the e-commerce, some examples of the e-commerce and some e-commerce website. So in the beginning we will see what is an e-commerce first. E-commerce is nothing but the process of buying and selling of the products or services over electronic system such as internet and other computer networks. As we know electronic commerce is nothing but a platform given which is not possible through the which is not possible without internet and other computer devices or the networks. Then as we earlier said electronic commerce is also called e-commerce or e-commerce. Again electronic commerce was identified as the facilitation of commercial transaction electronically using some technologies. There are two technologies given uh, is electronic data interchange and electronic fund transfer. So we will see what is EDI and what is EFT. So EDI system basically used for sending the documents to the trading partners and the uh, customers involved into that business application. So sending the document from your PC uh, uh, to the other PC. So here EDI is the structure transmission of the data between organizations by electronic means. So just like an email you can send the confidential data or the uh, whatever documents you need to uh, transact with the trading partners, uh, suppliers and all that. Uh, it is also used to transfer electronic documents or business data from one computer system to another system. Uh, whereas uh, electronic fund transfer is electronic exchange or transfer of money from one account to another. So EFT is basically uh, transferring the money from one business to another business or one business to consumers or consumer to uh, businesses and where EDI it is uh, only for sending the uh, documents or the business data. Next is history of the e-commerce. Uh, as we know in the history there, there were a growth and the acceptance of the some system uh, like credit card system, um, automated teller machines that is ATMs and telephone banking in 1980s. So uh, earlier this is this were also called uh, the types of the electronic commerce. As we are aware that in 1980 there is no any uh, inventions of the electronic uh, internet was there. So this kind of the forms of the electronic commerce was also uh, implemented for airline reservation uh, in the USA and the UK. So some companies uh, who uh, launched this system uh, of the airline reservation system uh, was uh, Sabre in the USA and Travicom in the UK. Now uh, we can uh, we can say after 1990 there is there were uh, invention of World Wide Web uh, that is the uh, internet and the, uh, most of the companies uh, were purchasing uh, were purchasing this particular uh, services from the www and they implant their businesses on the internet using some security uh, protocols and electronic payment systems for the services some advantage of the electronic commerce are uh, they are faster buying selling procedures as well as easy to find find products. 
so any consumer or any customer will can easily search for any kind of the product uh, these services are 24 by 7 available very low operational cost will be implemented and better quality service will be implanted any kind of a business can be easily started by this platform there is no need of physical company setup will be implemented by any kind of a businesses because all the services all the businesses will be a virtual one customer can easily select products from different providers without moving around physically so any customer uh, they can purchase or they can sell their products you know, uh, from the home itself yes of course there are some disadvantages of electronic commerce mainly is regarding the safety and the secure transaction so first disadvantage is or main disadvantage is there is no guarantee of the product quality so your product can be um, when you purchase some product that uh, product can be a uh, defective one another major disadvantage is, is that when you transact something uh, any kind of intruder or hacker are always uh, look for the opportunities and thus an electronic commerce site how to be very secure for that and uh, while giving the services while giving the platform gateways uh, all are always prone to attack Some types of the electron, electronic commerce are mainly there are number of electronic uh, commerce types. So here I am uh, discussing only four and which are the basic one. So business to business, business to consumer, consumer to businesses and consumer to consumer. So very first is uh, business to business. As name specifies uh, it will have the two parties and these two parties all are the businesses so anybody can interact with the businesses to the other businesses so they will uh, they will perform all the operational efficiency all the centric uh, marketing system and uh, everyone have to achieve the customer experiences so all these uh, main steps will be uh, or interaction or communication will be uh, does uh, between the two businesses uh, that's why this platform is called or type is called business to business so mainly uh, this platform is available for those who are interested to build their uh, new businesses so the every participant will be use a private electronic market for that the different companies are uh, doing businesses with each other such as uh, manufacturers will manufacture their product then they can sell their product to the distributors and uh, some wholesaler will sell their product to retail retailers and of course retailers will uh, give their product to the consumers or the customers another is b2c business to consumer so in this particular uh, the, at one end there is a business and at one end there is a consumer so uh, different kind of businesses selling their products to the general public typically through catalog utilizing shopping cart software so best example uh, if I want to give here is uh, Amazon so Amazon is nothing but a, a software an application right so this is providing uh, this is providing a platform to the consumer so any consumer can be directly go to the amazon and click on some particular um, product uh, because there are number of catalogs uh, utilities given there and they can purchase from amazon then uh, such kind of a platform uh, is an indirect trade between the company and the consumer it provides direct selling through the online if you want to sell goods and the services to the consumer 
so that anybody can purchase any product directly from the supplier's website. Third one is consumer to businesses. So any consumer, uh, if you want to uh, send, sorry, their product, consumer uh, will uh, create some new projects or uh, uh, some products uh, and uh, they have to choose uh, among the different different businesses like uh, it's like a bidding system so consumer will post his product with a set of budgets online and within an hours companies review the consumers requirement and bid on the projects the consumer review the bids and select the company that will complete the projects so simple example if i want to give is uh, consumer will bid for different different companies and uh, if uh, proper company will accept all the uh, things and the completion of that project or everything will be there then consumer will go through uh, that particular business uh, here empowers consumers around the world by providing the meeting around and platform for such transactions last one is consumer to consumer so any consumer can also create their product and deliver their product to another consumers so uh, one of the popular uh, company is a ebay company uh, it uh, facilitates uh, the online transaction of the goods or the services between two people so there is no any kind of a business involved in there or any merchant will be involved there uh, though there is no visible intermediary involved as i said there is no third party or there is no other uh, merchants uh, but uh, still some parties cannot carry out the transaction without the platform which is provided by the online market uh, or marketer uh, such as uh, ebay so ebay like companies will keep only the platform to this some examples are uh, if you want to purchase some book you will have uh, you will have one uh, particular uh, website uh, where uh, where you can buy your uh, book another is a government employee uh, reserve a hotel room over the internet the business is buys office supplies online uh, or through an electronic auction uh, another example is manufacturing plant order electronic components from another plant within the company using the company's internet so here are some uh, website or application will be given like amazon www okay thank you for watching thank you